Cryptocurrency, often known as cryptocurrency or crypto, is any kind of money that exists digitally or electronically and employs encryption to protect transactions. In contrast to fiat currencies, which are issued and regulated by a central authority, cryptocurrencies employ a decentralized process to monitor transactions and produce new units. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. What is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a kind of digital money that does not depend on banks to verify transactions. Payments may be sent and received by anybody, anywhere thanks to peer-to-peer -peer technology. Payments made with cryptocurrencies only exist as digital entries to an online database that lists specific transactions, not as genuine physical coins that can be carried and swapped. All Bitcoin transactions that include money transfers are recorded on a public ledger. The place where Bitcoin is held is in digital wallets. Cryptocurrency has acquired its name because transactions are encrypted and validated. This implies that complex programming is required for the storage, transport, and recording of Bitcoin data to public ledgers. The purpose of encryption is to provide security and protection. The first cryptocurrency, and still the most well-known today, was invented in 2009, Bitcoin. Trading for financial gain accounts for a significant percentage of interest in cryptocurrencies, with speculators periodically driving prices over the roof. How does cryptocurrency work? The basis of cryptocurrencies is a distributed public ledger known as blockchain, which is updated and maintained by currency holders. Units of Bitcoin are generated by a process called mining, which makes use of computer power to resolve difficult mathematical problems. Users may also buy the currencies from brokers, keep them in digital wallets, and then utilize them. Holding cryptocurrency doesn't truly make you the owner of anything. You have the key to transferring data or units of measurement between individuals without the need of a trustworthy intermediary. Despite the fact that Bitcoin has been around since 2009, blockchain technology and its financial uses are continually evolving, and more are expected in the future. In the future, the technology may be used to trade bonds, stocks, and other financial assets. Cryptocurrency Examples Numerous cryptocurrencies are present. Some of the best known include Bitcoin. The original cryptocurrency and currently the most traded, Bitcoin was established in 2009. The person or group whose specific identity is still unknown, usually regarded as a pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, is credited with creating the money. Ethereum Ethereum is a blockchain platform that was created in 2015 and has its own money, known as Ether or Ethereum. After Bitcoin, it is the most widely used cryptocurrency. Litecoin Despite moving more swiftly to create new ideas, such as speedier payments and procedures to enable more transactions, this money is most comparable to Bitcoin. Ripple. A distributed ledger system called Ripple was created in 2012. Ripple is a tool that can be used to monitor more than just Bitcoin transactions. The organization that created it has collaborated with several banks and financial organizations. The term, altcoins, is used to differentiate non-Bitcoin cryptocurrencies from the original. How to buy cryptocurrency? You may be thinking about secure cryptocurrency purchases. Typically, there are three stages. Which are? Choosing a platform. The first step is choosing the platform. Typically, you may choose between utilizing a conventional broker and a particular cryptocurrency exchange. Traditional brokers, who work online, provide buying and selling choices for cryptocurrencies as well as other financial assets like shares, bonds, and ETFs. Some platforms have lower trading expenses, even if they often offer less crypto capabilities. I also used the second. There are several cryptocurrency exchanges to choose from, and they all provide services like access to a range of digital assets, wallet storage, options for interest-bearing accounts, and more. On exchanges, asset-based fees are typical. When comparing different platforms, consider the cryptocurrencies they offer, the fees they charged, the security precautions they took, the options for storage and withdrawal, and any instructional resources that may be accessible. Funding your account. After choosing your trading platform, the next step is funding your account so you may begin trading. The majority of cryptocurrency exchanges allow users to purchase Bitcoin using fiat money like the US dollar, the British pound, or the euro using their debit or credit cards, however it varies per platform. The use of credit cards to buy cryptocurrencies is discouraged, and some exchanges do not accept them. Additionally, many credit card providers prohibit Bitcoin purchases. This is because cryptocurrency prices may be highly volatile, making it risky to buy certain assets using credit card and risk developing debt or paying exorbitant transaction costs. A few platforms will also allow ACH payments and wire transfers. 
The permitted payment methods in withdrawal and deposit processing periods vary depending on the platform. Depending on the kind of payment, deposits settle in a variety of times. The cost is a crucial factor. These include potential deposit and withdrawal transaction fees as well as trading expenses. Fees may vary depending on the platform and payment method, so do your homework in advance. Placing an order. Your brokers or exchanges online or mobile applications let you place an order. If you want to acquire cryptocurrencies, you may do so by clicking, buy, choosing the order type, entering the amount, and finally submitting the order. The same technique is used to sell orders. There are more ways to invest in cryptocurrencies. These include online payment services like PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo that enable users purchase, sell, or hold bitcoins. How to store cryptocurrency. To avoid theft or hacking, you must safely keep your bitcoin after purchasing it. Usually, cryptocurrencies are kept in crypto wallets. Your private keys to your coins are safely stored in these physical wallets or online tools. By providing wallet services, several exchanges enable you keep money directly on their website. Not all brokers or exchanges, nevertheless, will obligingly provide you with wallet services. The phrases, hot wallet, and cold wallet, are used to describe wallets, and there are several wallet providers to choose from. Hot wallets are a sort of Bitcoin storage that uses online software to protect your assets' private keys. In contrast to hot wallets, cold wallets, also known as hardware wallets, depend on offline technical equipment to securely store your private keys. In contrast to hot wallets, which do not charge fees, cold wallets do. What can you buy with cryptocurrency? Bitcoin was designed from the start to be a tool for regular transactions, enabling users to buy everything from a cup of coffee to a computer or even pricey items like real estate. That hasn't occurred yet, and despite the fact that more institutions are starting to accept cryptocurrencies, significant transactions utilizing them are still quite rare. Despite this, cryptocurrency may be used to pay for a variety of things on e-commerce sites. Here are several examples. Technology and e-commerce sites. Many companies that sell electronic items on their websites accept cryptocurrencies, including Newegg.com, AT&T, and Microsoft. One of the first to accept Bitcoin was the online retail site Overstock. Home Depot, Rakuten, and Shopify all accept it. Luxury goods. Some upscale stores accept cryptocurrency as payment. For instance, Bitdials, an online luxury shop, accepts Bitcoin in exchange for luxury timepieces like Rolex, Patek Philippe, and others automobiles. A few auto dealers, ranging from high-end luxury dealers to mass-market brands, now accept cryptocurrencies as payment. Insurance. AXA, a Swiss insurer, said in April 2021 that it has begun accepting Bitcoin as payment for all lines of insurance excluding life insurance. Premier Shield Insurance, a home and auto insurance provider located in the US, also takes Bitcoin for premium payments. If you want to spend Bitcoin at a shop that doesn't accept it directly, use a Bitcoin debit card, like BitPay in the US. Is cryptocurrency safe? Strong cryptography is used by cryptocurrencies, a kind of digital asset intended to function as a medium of exchange, to safeguard financial transactions, limit the production of new units, and confirm the transfer of assets. A very new and somewhat volatile kind of digital asset is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are not backed by any actual assets, unlike conventional currencies, which are, for example, backed by gold and silver. In recent years, the usage of cryptocurrencies has grown significantly, and a growing number of individuals are making investments in them. Despite their growing acceptance, cryptocurrencies continue to be the subject of many unanswered issues. In this post, we'll talk about the security of cryptocurrencies and provide some advice on how to use them safely. Transactions involving cryptocurrencies are irreversible, which means that once they are completed, they cannot be undone. This implies that if a transaction is completed using a stolen or inaccurate address, the money is irretrievably lost. It is crucial to take care to make sure you don't transfer or receive Bitcoin inadvertently since this is one of the main hazards connected to cryptocurrencies. The possibility of theft is another danger posed by cryptocurrency. There is no assurance that your money will be secure since there is no governmental oversight of cryptocurrency wallets. As a result, it's crucial to make sure you choose a trustworthy and secure wallet provider. In order to secure your money, you should also make sure to use two-factor authentication and use strong passwords. The possibility for harmful assaults is the third concern connected to cryptocurrency. Malicious assaults like phishing schemes, malware, and ransomware may affect cryptocurrency exchanges, wallets, and other services. When working with cryptocurrencies, it's crucial to choose services that are trustworthy and safe. 
In order to safeguard oneself against unwanted assaults, it's crucial to utilize a powerful antivirus program. Finally, keep in mind that cryptocurrencies are quite volatile. Cryptocurrency prices are subject to wide fluctuations, and there is no assurance that you will be able to get your money back if the value decreases sharply. As a result, it's critical to do your homework and understand the dangers involved with the cryptocurrency you're investing in. Diversifying your assets is also vital, as is never investing more than you can afford to lose. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.